hi and welcome to my sale for a um, Traffic Master camper. It's a small two berth camper um, with a double bed, cooker, shower, fridge and toilet. The inside is a green layout with grey carpet. I'll just show you the inside first. Inside we've got battery. It keeps all the electrics and the everything going on the inside. Gas, there's a gas bottle to go with it. An extension for electrics and outside electrics. A heater which has a blow heater system. You can see the blow heater system. Coming out of the bottom there. Storage cupboards, they more or less go directly into the cupboard itself. Some extension sockets there. Cupboard beyond it, which has storage facilities. Worktop. Here's a cooker, which has had little use. Good condition, needs a bit of a spark up, but there's no scratches or main defects on it. Glass again, could do with a clean, but good condition. Don't think it's been used very much. Wheel trims, which I'm um, meaning to put on, two of them are on, so I'll put those to one side a minute. There's, as I say, in the cooker. Rear view, those doors open as well, so you can have an open air sort of event where you can um, look through the back and, and cook while you're um, enjoying yourself. Um, sink here with a glass top on. Again in chrome, quite modern looking. All works. Under here, storage again. And under there, is where the water canister is stored and is filled from the exterior. Inside this cupboard, a bit sticky, not been used for a while. There's a bit of uh, storage space again for the table. There's a table in there that goes central to the seats and has bits of foam in there, I presume, for the bed. I have had the bed out and I think it does fit in there. There's also an electric heater and this is the open door where the bed is. Again a double bed. Good size bed. Sleeps too comfortably. I'd say it was a couple's motorhome rather than having kids and, and dogs and things because it's only small. Um, one of the reasons why I'm actually selling because I have two big dogs and um, taking them out would be a bit difficult. Driver's compartment, if you've got the um, remove, up, the arms go up and down, so you've got arm rests. This seat swivels round, I could show you but it takes a bit of time, but it's just a lever at the front, pull it down, twist right round. This one also does it as well. But uh, you have to jiggle it about a bit because of the steering wheel. Um, it's power steering. I think it's 2.5 litre engine, diesel engine, a Renault engine. Um, and it has done, mileage wise, 113. So not too bad. Um, it's a non-turbo, so it won't use a lot of petrol, but it's comfortable about 60, 70 miles an hour on the motorway. Um, so it keeps up with the other traffic. And what else can I say? Above here we've got some lights. And the mirrors are manually wound up. But I think that's a plus in some ways because there's nothing to go wrong on it. On the outside, if we go outside, you 
we've got a sliding door and general look at the van I put some there's the two of the wheel covers looks quite good look like alloys now this car this van has no MOT it's been stood here under a green cover you can see the green cover is a cover pro which keeps all the rain off it so it's not got any bad rust faults on it at all but it does need a little bit on the sills I think on this underneath there's a jacking point once doing um, that sills okay that one's a bit needs patching up and that's about it there seem all right around the back back doors do open um, but I need to unlock it with a key bike rack that's a plus take your bikes on holiday as I say you can look through the back while you're cooking there's a bit of storage there oh I'm not showing the toilet on this side and again there's um, a bit of welding to do in the same area really merely a bit of patching up you see there's a little bit on the on that sill but on the other side it's okay on this side it seems okay um, not bad at all really um, I'll open the back door see see what that's like okay that's the one <laughs> or is it yeah that's the one okay you can see there's a nice design whoops going on Hair appliance just fell. That's for the ex the uh, vent for the cooker, and we have an open area for the water. The water, incidentally, is is um, filled exterior in water filler there. There's a tow bar as well. Just remove those pliers bar with fittings all okay I'll show the toilet while we um, while we're on video toilet again it's in condition is the same as the rest of the van in good condition not used very much quite dark in there, there is a light and um, there is a shower shower here I've had it on, it's quite reasonably powerful drainage area, toilet it's an electric point on the wall there for flushing and um, a little hole there that goes to the back door, that's one of the hinges that's um, a bit of storage Essentially, to a lot of people having a toilet, so that's a, a plus, really. I'll just start the engine so you can hear the engine. Ugh. first time really after the lights gone out there is a battery light showing now I'm not sure that's a battery or an alternator but I've looked at the fan belt it's a bit loose and the battery's not been used for a long period it's been sat quite long periods 
So that could be a minor issue. Maybe just a battery, I think. Or even a booster charge on it. Um, okay. With a little bit of work, I think it'll be ready to go this year. Um, it's just too small for me. The van itself, I've driven it, drives fine, brakes are great. You know, tyres are in good condition. Um, that little bit of welding, underneath is fine, it's just a lad will come and make it so okay, it's just that jacking point. You can't see that tyre. All the tyres are okay. Um, and that's it, really. If you want to get in touch with me, feel free to message or call me back on the number of of um, put on the advert. It's up for two thousand five hundred on this offer. I can get it MLT, but it will be around about three grand. But um. I don't think it's a lot of work and probably probably cost less of 